Hello again and welcome to Shed Talk, my weekly magazine video series looking at keeping, breeding and showing off cages. With a particular focus, as always, on the exhibition style pleasure car. Um, while in this um, episode, and it's the first episode of um, series five, so I can't believe we actually made it all the way up into series number five. Um, I'll say in this episode, we are going to look focus mainly on the cleaning. I think I said in the last episode, that's the big focus of September, really. Um, and in here, we're going to start with the cages behind me, which are, of course, my stock cages, my holding cages, I suppose I like to call them. Um, so where, it's where I hold the birds either um, after they've fledged, so as a form of food it as a nappy cage, um, or I will also sometimes use it when I'm holding the birds that either are my show team or birds that I am looking to get rid of. So, um, But these need a good clean. Um, they've had a whole season's worth of use. Um, so I now plan to um, give those a good clean. Outside in the five flight, we're going to start cleaning the um, individual cages out there as well. And we will start moving some of the young birds that I um, want to take a look at into the um, into those single cages as, again as I said in the last episode. Right, well, I've got my screwdriver, time to strip these down, get some soapy water, start cleaning. Well, I've now got the front of the um, first set of um, stock cages. I'm just going to nip out now and get some uh, hot soapy water to start um, cleaning them with. Um, whilst I'm doing that, why don't we nip out to the Zinkman Fife Light and take a quick look at the Fife. So here we are out here with the um, Finches and the Fives. Um, I was hoping, you may remember in the last episode, I was hoping to start moving the um, fives out of the main flight into the single cages just so I could start to have a, a better look at them and start giving them some showcase training. Um, unfortunately, um, this is my inexperience showing I suppose, um, I thought most of them had been had, had almost completed the mop but actually it seems like um, there's a good number in there who are still in the full mop. There is starting to see lots and lots of feathers. Um, all over the place. The other thing is, um, I had I came in yesterday and there was one of the fives. Um, it wasn't a this year's five actually. I think it was one that I bred last year, um, looking very very poorly, and it was on the bottom of the flight, um, fluffed up, um, and it, it looked like it wasn't going to make make the day. In all honesty, um, I picked it up, didn't have any attempt at you know trying to get it out of my hand. Just sat there looking. Um, very, very sorry for itself. Um, I took it back into the into where the budgery guards are, mainly because um, it's quite miserable out here at the moment, and um, I was a bit worried that the dampness in the air um, might get, get to it. So I took it in there and put it in a cage on its own, um, and gave it some seed, a little bit of soft food, um, and some tonic in its um, water. Um, I don't know about you, but normally when I see a bird like that, um, it's, it, there's not a lot that I think you can do about it. I, you know, I was just hoping that I would make it comfortable for the last, you know, few hours. I suppose um, we all know that birds hide illness really, really well. I suppose it's part of that, um, you know, survival technique that they don't want to be seen as being ill. So they hide it really well, really, really well. And when they start to show it, it's normally, you know, in the, the later stages when it's too late to do much, very much about it. Like I said, I took it in there and um, put it in a cage all on its own. Um, it, I did see it, you know, 
as I was about to leave the flight yesterday, um, I did see it picking up seed um, and it was drinking. So, but I came in this morning expecting, really, really expecting the bird to be, to find, you know, the bird dead on the bottom of the cage. However, as you can probably see from this um, video here, it looks like it's fully recovered. I am really, really astounded that how the difference in this bird between in 24 hours. Um, I can only assume that um, being in the slightly warmer environment helped it come up, you know, get um, through the illness um, and the tonic water, or the water, the tonic in the water, should I say, also helped this bird to recover. Um, I'm going to leave it now in this cage that you can see it in, in the main flight, probably for about another week just to keep an eye on it. If in another week it looks perfectly healthy, it will probably come back out here into the main flight. So with that in mind, I've decided to leave the birds for another week. There are one or two of them in there, or certainly there's one that really keeps catching my eye. Um, so I'm hoping I will get that one out and show it to you in the next um, episode. Um, but yeah, you can probably hear, I hope you can just hear in the background. There's one or two other youngsters that are, I'm guessing, almost certainly cock birds, the way they're singing away. So that's it really from out here in the Finch and Fife Flight. Let's go back in sort doors and see how we're getting on with the um, cleaning in there. I hope you enjoyed that little look at the five. Um, I will, I promise, at some stage in the very near future, get round to um, showing you um, the, this year's youngsters um, and me doing my very, very novice eyes at assessing what those youngsters look like. I am very pleased to say, as I look now, this, uh, the young five that's in here, or the slightly older five that's an adult five, uh, that's in here that has been very poorly is still jumping around from perch to perch so you know touch wood that one may may be that we caught that just in the nick of time um, and that remedial work 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 remedial work work um, you know it's not very often you know, I well I personally I don't it's not very often I have very much success when a bird looks that poorly but um, clearly a tough little one and hopefully it will go on to um, survive a few more years. Right, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to bore you with me um, showing you me cleaning these um, cages, um, but I thought I would just very quickly talk through um, uh, what, I'm, what my plan to do with these. So I will begin, I've got a bowl of just hot soapy water, I'm just using washing up liquid at the moment. So that hot soapy water just to clean the initial clean of the inside of the cages um, and to get rid of the worst of all of the mess that's in there that's built up over the last um, year or the last breeding season. Um, so that's the, the beginning. Once I've done that um, I will then get some quite strong disinfectant, very mildly diluted down and that will then go over the cages again. Um, and get into all of the nooks and crannies just to make sure that it's all fully disinfected. Paying particular attention to the perches. Um, and um, I will then leave that um, overnight to dry. Um, once I've completed that, my intention then is to spray the whole thing with some anti mite spray. Now I use, um, some of you may remember from a few years ago when I was, or a couple of years ago when I was doing the main flights out, um, but I use this, it's Poultry Shield. Um, and I just dilute that down as it says, suggests in the thing. And I will use that to um, spray into all the corners, um, spray into all the nooks and crannies that are in the um, uh, uh, flight. Um, just to that again, just as a double check that there's no mite hiding in there. I will then give that a day and then I will probably spray it again. So um, that's my intention with the poultry shield. Final thing is, um, before I paint it, is I will use some of the um, mite dust that I've got here. You'll probably see that in there. It's just um, uh, the normal 
powder that you get. It's like a chalk dust, I suppose, a bit like um, uh, talcum powder, almost, I suppose. Um, but it's specifically aimed at getting rid of mites, killing mites. So I will dust the whole thing again uh, with um, that and give it a, again, I'll probably give it a day once I've done that. Um, and then I will paint. Once I've done that, I will then paint all of these using a, um, a matte white paint finish. So I know some people would suggest using gloss because it tends to be better. I use whatever I've got, I think. So I will use whatever paint I've got left over at the moment to paint the inside of um, the cages. Um, and I will, of course, do the same for the cage front. Right. So that's my plan over the next few weeks is to do that. Oh, that was a terrible bit, wasn't it? Going out of shot. Um, like I say, that's my plan for the next um, couple of weeks, oh, next week or two. Uh, time to crack on with that. Busy, busy period. Um, hopefully when you come back, I'll have some of those um, completed. Um, like I say, it has been four years. So we're up to four years of shed talks. Thanks to everybody who has um, spent... Uh, that some of that, or either all of that, or some of that time um, with me um, during those last four years. Um, it's a, you know, I can't say it's great to have so many people who subscribe to the channel and to make their comments and have supported the channel over the last year or the last four years, and we're now into season five of this channel. Um, if you haven't met, if you're brand new to the channel and you're not a subscriber or you've been watching the channel and you haven't subscribed, then do of course hit the subscribe button. It is really, really appreciated, as I say, um, and um, helps the channel to grow. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video and any other videos. Once again, the more likes we get, the wider the channel is um, distributed across um, YouTube. That's just the way the algorithms work. So please, please do hit the um, like button. I think a few a little while ago I, we were trying to get up to 30 likes. Um, we managed that a few times and it was amazing how that impacted on the subscribers to the channel. So you know you get to 30, 30 odd likes and suddenly just because it's out there a bit more, more people get offered, offered it and um, it helps with uh, subscription. So don't forget hit the like button. Let's see if we can keep it up at around the 30 um, likes. Uh, bit. And of course, comment. Please do comment. One of the things I'm interested to know is I know some people put um, uh, in additives into the paint, so they'll mix something into the paint that helps prevent the mite. If you've got any ideas on what you do when you're painting your um, uh, stock cages or your breeding cages, particularly if you're one of the um, canary um, breeders, let me know if you mix anything in with the paint when you're doing repainting your um, cages, like I say. Um, so do drop that in the comment or anything else you do around cleaning that sort of annual clean before the um, breeding season starts again. Right, I really, really must crack on now. So until the next one, as always, do stay safe. Enjoy your birds.